transformative work, you'd best be adding a lot to it. And that's what I'm absolutely trying to do with these React projects and this React channel. It's not the same as what these other big YouTubers do. Or, you know, let's be honest. These big YouTubers with millions and millions of followers and views, if they were taking a shit, people would watch it and fucking comment on it and give them money. It's fucking stupid. People are just dumb, okay? They're mouth viewing idiots. The people that fucking restream me live and comment over it with zero effort? Yeah, and all the mouth droolers that watch that shit? Yeah, I'm not like them. So, Rich can go fuck himself. I want nothing to do with the guy ever again. He, he really, if you think that Rich is someone to be looked up to or, or even enjoy his content, you're a fucking idiot. You need to look in the mirror at yourself and say, what the fuck's wrong with me? This guy is a piece of shit. Hidden Biken says, maybe I'll get more views from Logan Paul clans. They're pretty vicious. No, they're, what you meant to say is they're pretty brainless. That's what you meant to say. The brainless... I have no fear of the brainless masses. Trust me. None. <laughs> trust me. The shit that I've said against PewDiePie and he sent his followers after me because he tweeted me, which is hilarious because his followers literally did nothing except whine and say, wait, they did the PewDiePie. And then they cried. Didn't fucking do anything. PewDiePie and Jap Septic Jack I can't even his fuck his name. Jack Septic Eye? What the fuck kind of name is that? Because these two two guys go on YouTube and every video they put out gets a million views. It makes them the be all end all authority on gaming. And everyone else should be immediately written off. Not the fact that most people with intelligent minds say that those guys suck and you shouldn't watch their shit because they're dumbed down for dumb fucks. You know, kids, that's who watches their stuff. Not intelligent humans. You wouldn't ever go to these people to see an intelligent game review, right? You go there to get a silly laugh at a bunch of jokesters. That's really what their content is for. Uh, but anyway, I, I just... I, I, whatever. If PewDiePie were to respond to everything you said about, about you and told you to shut up while you were playing a video game, what would you do? I wouldn't give a fuck what PewDiePie says. I would not give a fuck. He already talked shit about me multiple times. I made fun of his book. Because it was on store shelves literally like after it just had come out, it was already on ultimate discount because no one bought his fucking book. I'm sure this book has so much meaningful content in it and isn't totally for brain dead idiots to make this guy more rich. DSP upset he can't read. Some light reading for DSP. Still better than PewDiePie's book. Oh snap. From real brick and mortar stores. And he got so butthurt that I made fun of his book that he actually tried to make fun of me with a, a joke out two year old would laugh at. Who gives a fuck what PewDiePie has to say, seriously? Most irrelevant fucking dude. He's the biggest YouTuber and the, literally the most irrelevant guy too, at the same time. That's pretty impressive to be the biggest and also most irrelevant person in, in, a, in a genre, but he is. <laughs> he actually is. He fucking do anything. No, I did I, People are not listening. I just, someone, someone just asked me, did you ever go to the ear doctor? I did, did you not hear the story I just told? Was I talking to myself? <laughs> Seriously, everyone else on chat, did I ever go to the ear doctor? Can you answer the question for the gentleman? What's hilarious is Inspector Gadgets, I didn't hear that from anyone else. Well, you're banned because literally the entire community has been talking about it. There have been giant threads and social media discussions about it. You're an idiot and you can get fucked and get off my stream because you're an asshole. I'm going to say it one final time. It's not my account. The evidence you've seen isn't evidence. You're just an idiot. There's, I, it doesn't matter how much evidence is presented, it's all bullshit, because it's not my fucking account. Yeah, you people have been talking about this since, like, fucking January, and it's fucking June. Get a fucking life, you no-dick loser. Seriously, get up out of your parents' basement. Go do something with your life. Get a fucking hobby. Stop bothering me, and enjoy your permanent ban. Look at these two. What are they doing? We synchronized exercises on their balcony up there, look. Two idiots. For all you whiners, I do have a plastic spatula so that I don't destroy the Teflon in my pan. Even though I've never destroyed the Teflon in a pan before, I had an overwhelming number of people when I started these uh, videos start complaining, Phil, how dare you use a metal spatula? In a Teflon coated pan, you're destroying your pan, you're getting Teflon in the food. And I was like, oh boy, here we go, you know. I've only been cooking for, you know, my life and never had a problem, but leave it to the internet, you make one video, and people will start second guessing you and telling you they know better. So rather than fight with thousands of people who think that they're smart, you got a plastic spatula. I actually had a plastic spatula anyway, it's not like I ran out and bought one.
Jigglebox Cat says, Tuck left because of Sedella. So where the fuck is Sedella? Sedella hasn't been in stream chat for like over a month, dude. So why don't you shut the fuck up? And I mean that, Jake Likes Cats, because you're one of the people who constantly stirs the shit. You're the one who brings up Sedella more than anyone. No one fucking cares. The guy's not even in here anymore. And you're the one who brings him up on a daily basis. So how about you shut the fuck up and stop causing the shit? And I mean that, too, because you've been banned multiple times for causing shit in here. So maybe you should fucking stop. Jake, how would anyone know if he's here on a sock unless you brought it up? How would anyone know that unless you brought it up? How the fuck would anyone know? I don't know how you can't see that you're the, you're the problem. You're the one who brings it up on a daily basis. You're the one who turned this poor guy into a fucking meme to begin with. Not just you, but you and a bunch of others, but you're part of the problem, man. Here, here, I'll read the logs. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ban you, and I'm gonna have you sit outside of the stream chat all day. And I guarantee you we won't have any drama. I'm sorry to say it, is that not only does he have fans, but he has kids. And now, later on in life, they're gonna look back at his behavior on the internet and they're gonna say they're gonna think that that's okay, that it's okay to bully people, that it's okay to be nasty to people. Because that's what dad did. That's fucked up. That's legitimately fucked up. Anyone telling you to hold back the block, it's a joke. Yeah, because they're because they're idiots. They think it's funny when I'm actually trying to do something. They gotta fuck around and be, oh, this is real funny to fuck with Phil now. No, it's not. You're a piece of shit. If you do that when I'm trying to actually stop harassment so I can play the game that I bought. You're a fucking idiot, all right? You're not funny. You're a moron. Yeah, Ramrod, I'm looking at you, you fucking dunce. You stupid idiot. I'm affected by it, and the topic is depression, okay? Now, this is gonna be a very serious subject. No joking around or anything. And they're lucky enough in their life to not have this debilitating disease for an outsider to something like this disease. To someone who's suffering from the disease. So people now are, are going to argue with me about semantics because they're being jerks in the street. It's not a disease, it's a disorder. All right, it's a disorder. It's not what I'm talking about. We're not here to argue semantics and shit, all right? We're here to talk real turkey about what this what this is, this disorder. I'll call it a disorder. Oh, for the little Nancys who might get offended that I said disease instead of disorder. Oh, my God. Depression is not a joke. It's not something to be joked about, by the way. Me Boy is in the stream chat whining and complaining. Saying that I never talk to anyone unless they tip me uh, or, or they send me money, which is completely false. All he's been doing is sitting there all night complaining that he's depressed and no one cares. And everyone's basically ignoring him because he's like, dude, we just don't care. You know, you come in, the first thing you say is you're depressed. And what are we supposed to say to that? Now he expects that I'm going to derail the whole stream to talk to him live. So let's do it. Super Meat Boy, how you doing? You're really depressed tonight, huh? You're really depressed. Now he's not talking. Now he's silent. I give him his time to shine, he says, everyone's ignoring him, and he wants attention, I'm giving him the attention he so craves, and now I hear no, no response. Great, well now, you can be timed out. Depression is not a joke, it's not something to be joked about, by the way. See, but then you get morons who make fun of me, oh, he doesn't have a family, okay, fuck you, yes I do, go fuck yourself. I hate people who say d disgusting shit like that. I don't have a family just because I don't have a human child, apparently I don't have a family, okay, go fuck yourself. Some moron in the chat who I'm now banning is actually passing around a detractor meme saying, didn't you hand out business cards with your street address on it? No, I never did. I never had business cards with my street address on it. That was an, an idiotic troll who photoshopped it on the internet, you fucking moron. And you're so dumb you believed it. What an idiot. You better take a sip, you fucking sleazy asshole. Enjoy your band, stupid. i show you my new business card. That's the business card. Okay, so I know it's pixely because I blew it up for you, but this is what it's gonna look like. Looks pretty cool, right? It's got that cool 8-bit art that I've been using for about half a year now. Special shout out to the to the viewer who made that for me. It's got all that information on there. I got rid of all the Twitch stuff because that's all outdated now. You got the Patreon on there now. You've got Twitter. You've got everything there. See that? I got a dollar tip from someone saying The Sims 4 isn't dead nor did it kill the franchise. They never stopped making expansions. There's a new one coming out in July. You have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, all right? Because Sims 4 literally did kill the franchise. Even people who were giant fans of The Sims did not like Sims 4. You are absolutely, factually, objectively wrong with your attempt to say, ha, gotcha, Phil. Sims 4 has been a failure for the company overall. So nice try with your gotcha moment. You ain't getting me on this one because I did research on this game back in the day when it came out. I did research on this game back in the day when it came out. All right. 
So nice try, you fail. Ah, gotcha, Phil. Hey guys, I don't want to break the chat rules. Can someone explain what derailing is? Hey, Salty T, no worries. You, you won't have to worry about uh, derailing the chat because you're banned. I'll have to put your bullshit. Here you go. Idiot. So that, dude. This, this guy, wow. Did I actually inspire someone to do something on the internet and they got successful? That's crazy, and I'm happy for him. Good for him! Yes! Review Bra, also known as Report of the Week, is highly articulate compared to you. Review Bra was not inspired by you. He doesn't know who you are. Who, who, said, who said that he was? Did I actually inspire someone to do something on the internet? I'm saying, the guy, it's, it, I like it because it seems to me like it's very similar to my old style. Why are you talking like I'm trying to say he was inspired by me and should know who I am? I never said that, you fucking idiot. You stupid mouth drooling moron. Why do you put words into my mouth? Because you're a jackass trying to make me look bad. How about this? Go fuck yourself. Did I actually inspire someone to do something on the internet? Oh. <laughs> look how good that looks! No! I might detect, I might detect a slight amount, just a ever so tiny slight amount of over fucking reaction. Lil Wayne! All it shows is Goku powering up, which you've seen five zillion fucking times in every video game, every comic book, every comic book, excuse me, every manga, uh, every show, every fucking anime, every movie. He's done it five zillion times, right? This is not anything new. It didn't even show the game. It was just Goku powering up. You look how good that looks. Oh, it's like, dude, can you do us all a favor? No, I mean this. Can you shut the fuck up for your, he got 400. Look at this. 435,000 views for him to scream at Goku powering up. 435,000 idiots watched him. <laughs> and now I'm one of them. Because I watched it too. Shame on me. I'm part of the problem. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. In my opinion, a React is not just watch something live and just talk a little bit over it and then make money. That's ridiculous. That's not even content, in my opinion. If you're going to make something a transformative work, you best be adding a lot to it. And that's what I'm absolutely trying to do with these React projects and this React channel. It's not the same as what these other big YouTubers do where, you know, let's be honest. These big YouTubers with millions and millions of followers and views, if they were taking a shit, people would watch it and fucking comment on it and give them money for it. It's fucking stupid. People are just dumb. Okay, they're mouth drooling idiots. But in this kind of content that I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make something special. I'm trying to make React content more intelligent than what other people are doing with it. That was the whole idea of this channel is that I'm going to do it different. I'm going to put effort into it. I'm going to actually work instead of just take a day off to talk over someone else's content, which is what most people do.